What's up everyone, Tyler here and I'm back with another video. I have a new shift knob that I'm going to install this video. And I completely destroyed this one. I was planning on keeping it, but unexpectedly, I just tore it up so bad, even by hand. But here's the shift knob I got, it's pretty small. Here's a comparison on the shift knobs. It'll keep my shifter as short as possible. The reason why I did this is because the shorter it is, the, I guess, shorter throw, technically, since if you have a taller shift knob, you'll be, like, all the way up here shifting. But I wanted to make it quick, and if it required more effort into shifting, then it doesn't bother me. But in this install video, I noticed it was super hard to take it off. On the G's and Z's, all of them, they use Loctite to keep it in place, and it does its job, but it makes it super difficult to get a different shift knob like this on. Yeah, let's get into the install. Okay, that was kind of scary and intimidating. I've been trying this for 15 minutes now and it's not budging, but I got gloves and this is gonna come off, hopefully. I already messed it up. Well, I ruined my shift knob just with gloves. Ow. Dude, this is harder than it looks. I'm at the point where nothing will work now. The shift knob is already destroyed from my gloves, which really sucks. We're gonna get this off with two vice grips now. Okay, finally. That was literally so hard to do just for a shift knob. Okay, yes. This is the shift knob I decided to get. I had to buy an adapter. It allows the different threads to line up so I could just put it on just like that. I'm gonna screw the adapter in now. The actual shift knob. Pretty tight. Let's just see where it sits. Here it is. My interior is finally basically done for the first stage of this. Oh, it fell down. I just found out I want to keep it like this. I'm just going to zip tie around here. It's funny because when I had the shift boot all the way up, I thought it looked super ugly. So I just put it down, zip tied it. And now it doesn't really move. I love the look of this for some reason and it feels so good. What I thought would look good didn't look good and it didn't even feel good. But this feels so perfect in the hands. It just looks like an extension too but this is the actual shifter. I really like how it looks. Well, the shift knob is kind of hot. I'm gonna get used to that. <laughs> We're gonna go on a drive now with the shift knob. I think it looks and feels so much better than the old one and matches the whole entire interior.
feels so much more solid and I could feel everything when I'm shifting. you'll notice that it's a sphere. I think it fits perfectly around the hand, especially with this room underneath. That was not intentional. My pinky fits right in between the shift boot and the actual shift knob, which is pretty nice. The shift knob itself is kind of small, but I find that I, I would like that way more than a big ball because if I shift if I push the shift boot up and try to hold it, it is really uncomfortable. It's a decently weighted shift knob. But honestly, when you're shifting, I can't even feel the difference, I guess. about the shift knob is that it sits as low as possible by it being lower technically you have a shorter throw it's not by much depending on how high your shift knob because if it's like this high the throw is gonna be crazy long but you'll have more leverage here you have to put a little more effort into shifting but that's okay with me I don't drive it every day for the most part That's me rubbing. Here at a location, that was so hard to remove. The stock shift knob, just so you know, is not just you unscrew it. You need some leverage to help you. Adapters are sometimes frowned upon, but I don't see any problem with it. It's the same exact thing. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of my shift knob. I really like ball shift knobs. It just flows with the car because how the car is and designed it, I feel like it has a lot of curves. Let me know how a weighted shift knob changes how you shift. To me, I didn't see a difference. So that's why I went pretty cheap with a shift knob. The shift knob was $20, which is very good. This is just a daily driving interior. It's nothing special. Once I start tracking the car or something, I'm gonna get seats in a cage, all that. This will do for now. Here it is, pretty simple just how I like it. I'll go through the interior for you guys. It's just really simple. It's just two things. A shift knob and a steering wheel. This is a Renown steering wheel and that shift knob is just a random shift knob that was made. It has Toyota threads. That's why I had to get adapter to the Nissan thread pitch. And other than that, everything is stock in my interior. Nothing special. The reason why I got this shift knob is because it matched with the holes on the steering wheel, along with the pedals down here, the speaker. <laughs> That is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed my content, the best way to keep up with me is on Instagram. Follow me there. 
Other than that, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video.